Today we're going to learn how to create a gradebook. So you'll want to go to your Google Drive, select New, and then Google Sheets. So I've already put in all of the information we'll need to use today. So I already titled it. I used that draw function we just learned about, as well as inserting some pictures. And I already created all of the data we'll be using today. So I made up some students, and I made up their assignments, as well as their points possible and all their individual points. So what we need to do first is total up the possible points. So we'll do equal sign sum, which adds them all up, parentheses, then we'll highlight all of the numbers that we would like to add up, and then put parentheses closed, and that's our total. So again, that's equals sum, and then parentheses, highlight the numbers that you would like to get the sum of, parentheses closed, enter. So now what you can do is you can just copy and paste that formula in all of those. So to do student average, we're going to do equal sign, but we're going to take the total points of Kristen divided by the total possible points. But what we need to do is we need to make sure that we're locking that cell. So they're all dividing by H9. So we'll do dollar sign H, dollar sign nine, and that locks that cell right in there. So each time when we drag it down, it's not moving down a cell, it's locking that cell in there. So as you can see, it's H12 divided by H9, H13 divided by H9, etc. So um, not all of yours are going to automatically come up in percentages. If they don't, just highlight that column and then click the format as percentage button. Now we'll do the average for each assignment. So it's equal, average, parentheses, highlight the scores for that assignment, parentheses closed, and that's your average. For minimum, it's equals minimum, parentheses, highlight the scores, parentheses closed. And for maximum, it's equal max, parentheses, and again, highlight, close parentheses. So as you can see in the formula bar is where we can see what the formula is. If you just type in the numbers, then we can also tell that and you're just doing a lot of work for no reason. So now we're gonna insert a chart. So what you're gonna do is you're going to highlight the last names and then hold down either control or command depending on your computer and select student average. Then we'll go to insert and click chart and it'll bring up the information in chart form. So you'll want to either select column or bar. I like column. And so then you'll go to customization and that's where you're going to edit all of the information for your chart. So the titles um, for both the whole thing, horizontal, left titles. You can also change all the colors in here. Any indicators that you would like to change, you can basically change in this setting. So after you've changed everything that you want to in here, you'll click insert. I've already made one here, and so I've done all the colors, etc. and you'll need to make an explanation. Once you're done, you'll need to make sure that it's public or shareable, and then upload it to Canvas so your teacher can grade it.